in this question, we're asked to, given that y equals 9x squared minus 8x minus 3, find dy by dx from first principles. So first thing to do in this question, the approach I take is to state that f of x is 9x squared minus 8x minus 3. Secondly, is to find f of x plus h is found by substituting f of, uh, x plus h in for every x term. So I get 9x plus h squared minus 8x plus h minus 3. Now expand and simplify this expression. So f of x plus h, 9x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 8x minus 8h minus 3. And then finally expand out that last bracket. So we get 9x squared plus 18xh plus h squared minus 8x minus h minus 3. Now calculate f of x plus h and take away f of x. So you'll notice all the terms without h, 9x squared and 9x squared, they cancel out. Minus 8x and minus 8x cancel out, and minus 3 and minus 3 cancel out. So it leaves me with 18xh plus h squared minus 8h. Okay, so following on from this, we need to divide this result by h. So f of, f, of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Dividing this by h means that I divide each term through by h, so I get left with 18x on the first term. I get left with plus h in the second term, and then minus 8 for the third term. The final step is to say that dy by dx, and this is important, this is equal to the limit when h tends to 0 for f of x plus h. And this step must be written out in full or you miss important marks on the in the exam. So we're ta now taking the limit of h tends to 0 of this expression. So we're taking the limit of this when h tends to 0. So this term, any term with h in, in within it disappears. So we get left with 18x minus 8. Okay, so let's have a look at part B. Part B says differentiate 3 over x to the power of 6 minus 4x to the power of 5 thirds with respect to h. First thing to do before you do anything is rewrite this reciprocal using indices. So this is now going to be written as 3 times x to the power of minus 6. And the other term remains the same. Please don't differentiate and rearrange in the same step. Make sure you've got your expression ready for differentiation before you attempt to differentiate it. So then dy by dx, multiply the coefficient by the power, so I get minus 18x, and then decrease the power by 1, so to the power of minus 7. Minus or multiply the coefficient by 5 thirds, so that means 5 thirds times 4, just multiply the numerator with the whole number, so four, minus 4 times 5 gives me minus 20 thirds x to the power, now decrease this power by 1, so that means I'm going to take the denominator away from the numerator, and this becomes to the power of 2 thirds, and there the differentiation is complete. So let's have a look to see how we mark this question. In part A, there's a standalone mark for substituting in correctly, demonstrating that we're going to put in x plus h into the expression, uh, the equation for x. Next, there is a method mark for subtracting f of x from f of x plus h. And there is an answer mark also for then getting that this expression is our remainder. Now, finally, we get an answer mark, a sorry, method mark 
for the method of, and it's important because it has to include this limit, it's not just dividing by h, it's actually two steps that we're getting a method mark for here, and taking the limit. So really, this is the key part, and this is the part I'm going to highlight to emphasize. So a method mark for dividing by h and then taking the limit of h tends to 0 of this expression. And then only if you have got that method mark do you then get the final answer mark. So by doing those two steps correctly, that relies on two of your marks from the five. Okay, in part b, if you have multiplied your coefficient by minus six and decreased that power by one, as I've done, you get one standalone mark. And if you have done the same on the second term, you get a second standalone mark. Okay, well, I hope my answers made sense, and I hope that you understood how to mark it.